Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Caloria sent me this set of pencils to show you guys on my channel. So thank you very much to Caloria for sending these to me. These are called Imaginor colored pencils. It is a 72 set. So they come in this really nice case as you can see. We have this colorful outside cardboard and it says 72 unique and vivid colors wax based three millimeter lead premium soft core smooth even coverage premium blending and shading rich intense pigments and then we have a couple of other languages on there so let's take a look. Like I said, it comes in this nice fabric case with their name on it. Look at that pretty rainbow. Yeah, so it has the zipper. Let's take a look. Now the sheet that I'm going to blend our uh, swatch on, I always leave the number name and a place to swatch I don't know at this point if this is going to have numbers and names but I guess we'll find out Ooh, aren't these pretty so let's take a look at one oh when they do have names and numbers let's zoom in a bit so we have Gloria down here at the end and the name of this particular pencil, Imaginor, or this particular set. We have a pretty little emblem here, the color name, and then at the end we have the color number. And again, pretty gold uh, decoration on the end with a gold bar here. It is a shiny barrel with gold lettering so on this particular pencil because it's a little bit darker i can very easily read this we'll see on the lighter colored pencils you know if they're all easy to read i do think this yellow or the yellow i do think this gold is much easier to read than the silver that is on a number of sets of colored pencils and it's nice and large it's big lettering so yeah on this particular pencil it is easy to read the end is capped which I kind of like the only downfall is um, unlike Prismacolor you can kind of see when the core is off center which is going to give you a good clue whether they will sharpen decently or not. So that's the only downfall to me about having the ends capped. But I like the finished look of that. They do come pre-sharpened. So, like I said, now when I put pencils in a pencil case, this side, I always put this way. To me, it's just easier. Um, so I think what I am going to do, because we have some blues here at the end. Um, well, maybe just to make things easier, I'll just swatch them in the order that they are um, in the case. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, but pencils have a tendency of taking a little bit longer to swatch. So, especially when there's a name and a number. So I'm just going to put them over here. I will get out my pen wherever I stuck it. There it is. All right, and we're going to zoom in a little bit more and let's see how nicely these lay down and we'll get to see the assortment of colors in this set. So we have hot pink 555. And I do like the fact that the lettering is nice and big, especially this number. You can really read it easily. It probably shines <laughs> in uh, underneath my lights, but 
So, ooh, they do glide on the paper nice. They are definitely wax. Yeah. They're not, of course, as soft as Prismacolor, but they do seem real nice. 535 Fruit Punch. I like to put a sheet of cardstock underneath because of my soft mat. Um, wouldn't be able to swatch too good on this, so. but it keeps coming off the mat. There's a pretty pink. We have Cotton Candy, 517. Ah, they're pretty pink. We have a number of pinks yet, well, a couple. Flamingo 556. I think these are easier to read when the barrels are matte rather than when they are glossy. Um, but the vast majority of them, I think, are, you know, do have a gloss to the barrel. Okay, these, you know, they are different, but yet they're very similar. Peony 527. And again, one that is very similar. And that's it for the pink. So I, well, we'll, we'll look at the colors at the end. So. Coral, 715. I was going to say, maybe this could be a good skin tone, but there's a little too much orange in it. Maybe this will. Apricot 718. Hope there's at least a couple of skin tones in here. We all look for skin tones, don't we? Yeah, and I think there is. Well, this one's not too bad. Maybe for a shading color. It still has quite a bit of orange in it, though. We have a pale yellow. Marmalade 145. Ooh, pretty pastel yellow. It's always nice having that light yellow, isn't it? Kind of as a blender. Creamy beige 112. So this looks like it possibly could be a skin tone might be a little dark creamy beige no oh, that's nice that's a pretty skin tone And then Camel 823. A little bit darker. Oh, yeah. It's kind of a shading color. Those will be nice for skin tones. We have a nice orange here, bright orange, 737.
nice orange. And Saffron 725. Now, if this is too slow for you, by all means, speed up the video. Nice yellow orange. Tuscan Sun 215. I just like to do the swatching this way because it really gives you an idea of the colors and the lay down of the pencils. These look to be very nice, very pigmented. They are pretty smooth coloring. Sunflower 235. Now right before this I will have done a flip through of a coloring book that they also sent me. And we're going to test these pencils a little bit in that book. Ooh, there's a bright sunny yellow. Maybe just test, you know, the colors out on that particular paper and try one or two blends. 248 Lemon. Another lighter yellow. Yellow Sapphire 231. Really pale yellow and then we get to the real light stuff. We have 111 Ivory. So oh, another nice blending color. We're just having a little bit of a yellow undertone. And then we have finally the white 100. Which of course we're not going to see. But one thing I like to try with the white. Now this is toner on this particular paper because I do have a laser printer. But I just like to kind of color over and, okay, and most of your budget, you know, pencils aren't real, you know, the white is not real opaque. And this one is no exception. <laughs> okay, we're going to flip to the other side and go to the reds. We have Amaranth 621. Okay, so a red with a pink undertone. It looks like we have a couple of red oranges. Carmine Red, 631. Oh, that's nice. Nice red orange. We have blood orange, 637. Love it when they have color names and numbers. I think most of us go by the names, don't we? Oh, nice. Some of you may know like your prisma colors like the back of your hand and you know the numbers also. Scarlet Red 634. So 
little bit darker. Rose red, six twenty eight. There's your true tone red. And bold red, 633. This still has a little bit of a pink undertone. Maybe this one won't. 633, what was it? Bold red. Yeah, we'll just do that. <laughs> Yes, there's a nice red. And a darker red. We have Raspberry 567. And I think this is the one that I had pulled out in the beginning. some greens. So we have 312 lime, 312 lime, so definitely not <laughs> in my order. Oh, that's pretty. Always nice to have that real light green. Soft green, 310. I love the yellow greens. I think they're so pretty. Yeah, so these two go together. Nice. We have spring green 321. Now, depending on your lighting, I do notice with the lights up above shining right on this shiny uh, gold some you know I do have to turn it a certain angle to read it but again it is nice and large print so that makes it easier that's a pretty green and we have is it matcha or maca? M A T C H A 323. I think it's matcha. Kind of similar, but a shade darker. And it looks like we get into some olive greens. I'm looking to see if we have a standard green. And it doesn't really seem to have one. This one is Pear 308. That would be a shame. I always look for your, you know, true tone colors like a regular orange, you know, a regular yellow, regular red. Now we're going to get into some darker greens. Moss 346. Okay. Then we have forest green 356. Ooh, that's pretty. 
one more darker green. We have Ancient Silver. Now that's a different name for green. <laughs> 944. I never heard of that one before. And as you can see, I don't think their numbering system means a whole lot. <laughs> Just like a lot of our budget friendly pencils. Even Prismacolor. I don't think there's a rhyme or reason to their numbering. Okay, so it's kind of a moss green. We have some blue greens. Basil 329. Let's write in the name. Oh, isn't that pretty? You know, I love my teal colors. That's gorgeous. And we have some darker ones. Emerald 332. A little more blue to it. And finally, in this column, we have Fern 339. And a little bit lighter one. So these would make a beautiful blend. All right, so let's turn the page and we have some more blue greens and then we're going to get into some blues and purples. I'll be right back. Okay, we have 322 mint. Halfway done, folks. Beautiful dark mint color. I'm going to put these in the other way. We have Shamrock Green 401. Ooh, that's pretty too. You can see this one has a little more blue in where that one has more green. We're getting into some darker blue greens. We have turquoise 405. Little bit darker. Pretty similar though. And Asian blue 433. Or Asian. <laughs> A E G E A N. A little more blue in that one. And then we have Jade 338. Then we'll get into some different shades of blue. Oh, that's pretty. Gorgeous. Okay. Here we have light blue, 413. Hope we have a nice dark blue too. Ooh, that's pretty. 
but not a real pale, pale blue. We have Robin Egg Blue, 428. Little darker. Peacock blue four twenty two. Ooh, pretty. Mykonos Blue, 444. And a couple of darker blues. Ocean Blue, 443. Looks like it might have a green undertone. Now, of course, don't always go by the color on the barrel. If you want a more close representation of what the color is going to be, always look at the lead itself. Sometimes that can be a little deceiving too, but yeah, that's pretty. So, you know, these would be a, a good blend. This one is a little out of place. Then our last blue is Blueberry 467. And there's your true color blue. Okay, so there is no real dark blue. Then some purples. We have Periwinkle, four ninety nine. Oh, pretty pastel purple. And Lavender Gray. Five oh seven. Another pretty color. You know me and my purples, and there's quite a few purples in this smaller set. Lavender five seventy one. Which is okay with me, but not everybody. Not everybody is a purple lover, especially if it detracts from some of the other colors. Another pale purple. Royal purple, 572. Some of these are a little bit harder to read. Ooh, that's pretty too. Pink undertone. Fuchsia, 565.
pretty. Now a few darker purples. Purple Iris by 78. There's a couple dark purples way at the end, so I'm gonna. Well, I think actually they do go by having you turn the case around. That must be how they're doing it. Because then we go through all the earth tones, grays, and black. Amethyst 574. And finally, oh, oh, here we are. <laughs> I'm like, where are we? Last purple is Ultramarine 472. And usually, yeah, this has a real purple uh, undertone. Kind of a blue purple. Purple violet. <laughs> This one's more on the blue side than the purple side. Very pretty though. Okay, let's get on to some earth tones. We have quite a few of these. We have Pumpkin Spice 722. Kind of looks like a yellow ochre. Yes. We have a burnt ochre, eight twelve. Orangey brown. Cinnamon 822. Cinnamon and terracotta usually are a couple of my favorite browns. I like the red browns. Yeah, that's pretty. So these two would make a nice blend. And possibly the next one. Deep Magenta 611. Oh yeah, definitely a red undertone. So it's, yeah, more of a dark red. Sienna Brown, 8.32. Move up a little. So, darker brown. Honey, 802. Come out. Coyote, 852. Right 
And now we're getting into some darker browns. We have three more dark chocolate, 845. Nice mid tone brown. Deep brown, eight thirty five. And finally, for the browns, we have Espresso 847. So a nice dark brown. So quite a few earth tones in this you know, smaller set, and we have a few grays. Light gray, 909. And it is gray with an E. <laughs> so very, very pale gray. I don't know if you can even see that, maybe a little. Looks like we have a warm gray smoke nine twelve. Elephant gray nine oh one. more grays and a black space gray 915 finally in the grays we have charcoal 977 dark gray. So a nice succession of grays. And then finally our black. Let's see if it's a good black black or just a dark gray. 990 black. Oh, it's a nice black. Yeah, it's, it's a nice dark black. Awesome. All right, so those are our colors. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can see them all at once. Okay, let's take this out. All right, so... We won't be starting out with the yellows like I normally do. <laughs> we will start with the pinks. To me, these four are quite similar. You know, for especially for a 72 set. Um, we only have really this one orange, the coral, you know, coral and apricot, sort of. I think we could have used some more oranges, though. Um, we do have these couple skin tones. This could be a shading. Yellows, nice yellows. Of course, we have our real pale and our white. Some of the reds are similar. 
think a really nice dark, dark red would have been nice. Greens. Again, we don't have a regular standard green in here though. And spring green and matcha look almost exactly the same. So in my opinion, we could have done away with one of these and gotten just a regular true tone green in here. These are pretty. Maybe we'll use this blend when we test out them in the coloring book. And kind of similar. Turquoise is darker though. Light blue, robin egg blue, almost identical. These are nice, but no real dark blue. You know, we could have had like a midnight blue. A lot of purples. Again, for a smaller set, a lot of purples. Kind of similar here. I don't know, maybe only two light purples, right? But they are all different shades. So, and then earth tones. Light tan, you know, is would always be nice, but so many of these budget-friendly sets don't have a light tan. Otherwise, the rest of the browns are nice. Of course, you can always use more browns, right? <laughs> Especially if you're into landscapes. You know, having the greens and the browns is always nice. And yeah, of course, we could always use more skin tones. Limited amount of grays, but again, you have to remember it is only a 72 set. So I think, you know, for me, the five grays is plenty. I'm not a gray person, but I know a lot of people use the grays for shading. Um, so they would be better able, you know, in their opinion, whether they feel this is, you know, enough grays. Overall, the lay down of these pencils seem really nice. And this is just, you know, printer paper. Um, yeah, so I'm, you know, some places they could have maybe taken some colors away and then added in others. Again, that, that's pretty par for the course um, for a more budget friendly colored pencil and for a smaller set, you know, 72. Now, when I say a smaller set, 72 colors is plenty, you know, um, because you can blend colors together and make your own colors, right? So let's get out the Colora coloring book that I would have just shown you in the previous video, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I'll remember to put it up right before this one. And let's see, what should we do? A blend or two on. That would be pretty maybe. Find a pretty flower. Because blends always look nice on flowers. I don't think I want to do that big of a flower. I think something like this. I would do a, a base coat of marker first. And then shade with pencil over it. Maybe that previous one would be a good one to do. Let us see. So I just want to test out a couple of colors. Maybe this one. Maybe we'll try this one over here. So, what colors shall we put together? Should we do some purples or some pinks? We don't have a real pale pink though. And you need at least three colors, a light, a medium, and a dark, right? To, to do a blend. Many times you can, you know, you need more than that, but. Um, well, we could do the purples. We could do lavender gray, royal purple, and amethyst. 
why don't we try that? So let's get to the purples. And we want lavender gray, lilac, right? Is that what I said? Lavender gray, no, royal purple. Royal purple and amethyst. Alright, so here we go with our light, medium, and dark. And we'll only do like a petal. And see, we'll do a, a small petal. So let's do, well, let's do this one over here. So I'm going to just put down a light layer of our lightest color. And they seem to work on this paper nice. Okay, I'm going to put down just a little bit of dark under here where we want our shading. Kind of where they have the lines. And let's go in with the mid-tone and let's see how, oh, they blend nice. Of course, you'll, you know, go in here with more layers. Yeah, they do blend nice. Let's go back in with the light. Kind of blend lightly over the whole thing then. So again, this is a first layer. That's very pretty. So we'll go with some more dark. Little bit heavy pressure. Our mid tone, kind of going over the dark tone again to blend it in. And just the tips with the light. Nice. Yeah, I, I think they're nice. Of course, not as pigmented as your premium pencils and not as soft as the Prismas. You're never going to find another pencil that's as soft as your Prismas. This is just kind of roughly done. But I think they blend together nicely just for quickly, you know, picking out three colors. We could just pick out, if we do, let's just do something on the back here and a different color group if we pick out emerald and see how these blend. Where's emerald? Okay, emerald. Fern, and what should we have for our light? Shamrock green. Let's just try these three. 
Emerald Inferno are quite close, but we'll try it just to see. Okay, so I'm going to go with my lightest color. And again, this is just going to be a real quick test. Go over it all really lightly. Go with the dark tone. Mid tone. Now again, these colors are kind of close. Go with a heavier pressure and lighten up. And our light. Yes, they do a nice, a nice blending job. It's pretty. Yeah. Yeah, so I think they, they do blend together nicely. So we have kind of our, our purple. And then kind of our teal, our blue-green. So yeah, overall, I think they're a quite a nice set. Like I said, as normal in budget-friendly sets, I think some of the colors could be a little bit different. Um, I like the look of the pencil. I do like the gold, like I said, better than the silver, but it would be easier to read if this was matte. But again, the large letters, large numbers is nice. All right, so I will link um, this set of pencils down below in the description as well as this coloring book. Let me zoom you back out. <laughs> So yeah, I will link them both down below in the description if uh, you are interested in looking at these yourself. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the swatching and kind of seeing a little bit of how they blend. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.